Here's a skateboard parachute sail. You'll need some materials shown here, plus a ruler that's not shown here. <laughs> Maybe a few pieces of uh, PVC tubing to act as handles. Since it was a little difficult to illustrate with the plastic itself, I'm folding a piece of paper first in half and then in half again this will illustrate how we're going to fold the plastic sheet. Now while that sheet's 9 by 12, this 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper will fold the same way. Then basically you're going to end up with sort of a triangular shape at the top like that. And you want to measure down from the point to the shortest side, which is going to be uh, where the, the fabric or the plastic starts to fold. I'm going to measure on mine, it was 55 inches, so it's 55 inches down the top, from the top, down each side. Make a mark down the short side first, and then swing the ruler around, keeping it up at the top, on the very tip, and then measure and mark 55 inches on that side as well. Now what you need to do is connect the dots, and then using a sharp pair of scissors, cut all the way across through all the layers at the same time. Make sure that it stays flat so that your lines stay straight. And basically you're going to have a triangular shape that when unfolded will help have the eight sides of the parachute and you'll attach the shrouds on each of the points, which we're going to do now. Basically, you want to take the 8-inch pieces of filament tape, uh, or in this case, uh, you can also use duct tape. After you cut those, you want to put 4 inches on one side, and then fold it around onto itself, and put about 4 inches on the other side. Now, these don't have to line up perfectly, uh, since they're both contacting the plastic. But just get them as close as you can and then um, repeat that uh, on the next and the next all the way around and do all eight of them the same way. So there's eight and they're each eight inches long. Use a flame to whip the ends of these lines. I'm using nylon here so it melts. It's a little bit frayed when you cut it. And using a little heat like that will anneal the end so it's easier to get through these holes that you're going to punch. Now I'm using an eighth of an inch hole punch. You can also use something just to stick, something sharp just to stick a hole through there. Uh, you just want to make sure that the hole's not too big because you don't want to encourage it to rip. Now I'm tying a bowline knot here. You could also tie a square knot. Uh, and that as long as you tape the loose end back to the main part of the shroud, um, or use a fisherman's knot, uh, it would probably hold very well. So there are eight shrouds total, and they're each 10 feet long. Then you want to take all four ends on one side, again, keeping the sides separated to right and left uh, as we're working on it here. Here's the left-hand side, and all of these um, shrouds are on the left-hand side. We want to make sure that they're all the same length. So what I'm doing here is basically holding them tight so that I can pull through the same amount of each string. Then 18 inches from the end of the shortest one, you want to make an overhand knot. An overhand knot is basically just the first knot that you make, the first step of tying your shoes. Make sure that you get all four lines through, and that will keep the length you know, pretty close to the same, uh, if not exactly the same. And then separate that into two lines each, and slide two of those up through one of the pieces of PVC. And then at the end, you also want to make another overhand knot, again, including all four strings, uh, so that after that's tied and secure, you can basically pull one side of it, and it'll be in the center. It'll end up in the center of the tube for the handle uh, when you pull the front of that triangle. 
and we're ready for a road test now. Wear your gloves and a helmet because this thing can get kind of fast. I realized that the first time I had it out. This is actually the first time I had it out. Um, and it took me a few minutes to get used to trying to hold the camera with one hand <laughs> and the shoot with the other. But um, we got it going here and uh, you'll notice in the, the next ride uh, that it gets a little fast. So I'll let you listen to it as it happened. Fence. Can I run over it? 